Hey everyone, before the video starts be sure to tap the like button, subscribe and hit the bell. Enjoy. Today's video is a breakdown of Reet's Session 4 Frosty Frenzo Tree performance. He was playing with Fabs and Zesty and they pulled off 4 games for, with 4 wins with 14 kills or more. I'll break down how and when they're getting those kills and why they're so consistent. Enjoy. We'll get the boring part out of the way early and talk about kill distribution. The really important thing to notice about these guys is that they aren't just W King everyone they see mid game. A majority of their kills will come late game and if they do come mid game it is an often advantage that they deem worthy pushing. Look at these kills in the replay counter that I've highlighted down below. They are all towards end game. We'll discuss end game fragging in further detail later but to start off with Let's run over some of their mid-game fights that they took and won successfully. The two mid-game fights I've decided to highlight in this video are picture-perfect fights for any team to take. To start with, there's the classic third party. This fight is over very quickly, but note the really important things that happen in a very short amount of time. They get really good damage on someone and then try to engage, then when they hear people taking really high damage in the fight, they look to get in quickly so that they can clean up before heals are popped. Third partying a fight is almost guaranteeing advantages holding in most categories, but it's important to make your decisions quickly and confidently to ensure those advantages hold. I highlighted this next fight because of its position. There's way more nuance to the idea of dead side than this trader gave thought to, but the decision to look for a fight on their idea of dead side is perfect. In what we just discussed, it's really important to avoid fighting anywhere third parties are probable. Also, take note of the way they nut hug each other never letting each other fight alone and ensuring every engagement is a two on one. We'll come to that later. I've included a little spawn fight clip here to show how these guys are always in the mentality of looking for an advantage. In this clip, Zesty doesn't like the fight he's being forced into by the other team and so looks to disengage. Once he's out in his shield and gets the information to Reek, well, Reek does what Reek does sometimes. The biggest thing to note about these guys fighting mid game and the biggest takeaway I had was that they never let a man fight alone. When Reet and Fabs engage on this guy mid-map here, it is as a unit, and it is brutal. This poor soul never stood a chance with Reet and Fabs running into his face together, but neither does anyone else. Learn to play with your teammates, and find a way to isolate the opponent so you can make killing them look this easy. I think the biggest takeaway for me for these VODs was the way that these guys are an extremely dominant team low ground late game. The way they bully the teams around them into submission is terrifying, starting with the way they just jump in as a trio on the first team, followed by the most gorgeous sequence of late game peace control I've seen as my time as a Fortnite coach. Fabs edits into a free kill, followed by Reet, then by Zesty, then Fabs again. The way they are able to chain these kills together is a symptom of two very easy and simple ideas, staying ahead and controlling space. Tui and Alex, Arkham and Andrew, and Sentin and Edgy all play this style in FNCS duos and nothing has changed about its effectiveness. Get to lower mid ground, stay ahead, stay aware, and control space. The kills will come. As a coach, it wouldn't be right to avoid mentioning that win potential from this position is much more difficult than Heiter's, but with Rift Fish now in the loot pool, Fish in general have become a very important part of the meta again. Two of the four wins these guys secured were directly related to Flopper Healing, a very easy and consistent way to ensure that from low and mid ground, Heights win potential drops through the floor. If you play low and mid ground and fear you're struggling to finish off games more consistently, Start carrying fish and watch your fortunes change for the better. Getting kills on height really comes down to the last dying seconds of the game as we get on board with Reet here and watch how he goes about it. The reason I prefer mid and low ground for more kills is because once these guys drop from height, they have to actually start taking control of space that they don't already own, or in Reet's case, 50-50 and cross fingers you don't run into a thunder pump. If you're a team who's looking for a pop off 15 plus kill game, after watching these guys play, my message is pretty clear. Learn to play low and mid ground effectively. Thanks for watching.